Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Like Me Easy. Sorry if I'm not looking directly into the camera. I'm shooting this on my phone, so I apologize if the audio isn't as clear as my like Blue Yeti microphone or uh, stuff like that. <coughs> that quality is absolutely insane, and uh, you can definitely tell in the past recent videos I've made on this channel. Um, so, guys, in this video, just want to do a quick rant: uh, Android versus iPhone. Um, this is sort of the format I'd be doing on my podcast. Links below. Get go check it out. Awesome podcast. Me and my friend Tim do it. Um, we discuss tech, pop culture, gaming stuff, uh, even Star Wars. If you're a huge Star Wars fan, make sure you go check out the Life and Easy podcast because I think it's worth your time listening to. You can get a lot of value out of it. So without further ado, let's hop in to the video. And today I just want to be discussing just like iPhones in general. Um, I'll probably do an Android video on this as well. Just like the current state of iPhones. Um, and I'm probably going to title it something like that. So right now, it's just like I've always been an Android guy. Um, I've always had grievances with Apple uh, and some of their m mostly hardware choices that they made in the past. Because for me, I tend to think that uh, iPhones tend to go the software route. Uh, they spend a lot of time uh, altering their software, trying to like make it a great user experience, which I think they have. iOS is a great platform. Uh, especially for newcomers uh, getting phones, maybe like elderly people, elderly people, younger people getting into smartphones, using them for the first time. I think iOS makes it really easy to adapt and uh, learn the basics of how to use a smartphone, apps, um, alarms, widgets. Yeah, I guess you could say iPhones have widgets, sort of, but not as good as Android. I will say that. So here's the thing. Right now, iPhones are in a pretty good spot for the most part when it comes to market share. Uh, I know they've dropped a little in the past, but I think recently, um, iPhone sales have been killing it. And I think that with the iPhone 9, iPhone SE 2, whatever they're gonna call it, it's kind of like a iPhone 8S sort of model, uh, that same uh, dimensions and same form factor as the iPhone 8 just like updated processor, camera, stuff like that. So similar to what they did with the SC on the 5S, they kind of just updated the internals and updated to the latest software, so stuff like that. I think if that comes out, and I think it got delayed, uh, iPhone sales can boost a lot because people like the old design of the iPhone 8. Um, and personally, I actually like that design. Like I got a, um, a 6S just to like resell, uh, just make some money off of it. And I just held the form factor of a 6S. And if you didn't know, that has the same size is an eight uh like they made four iphones that had the same exact form factor for four years which i had grievances with because i thought that was kind of lame not innovative like you see samsung innovating way more year to year with their devices but i don't know i was kind of salty about that but whatever um i like that form factor with the iphone success um and it was a snappy phone overall i liked it i mean i had no issues with it but yeah like right now um iPhone's in a great spot. I think the processors are holding them up for the most part, and every year their hardware is getting better. I, the hardware of the 11 Pro and the 11 Pro Max, even though I think the 11 Pro Max is way too big for a smartphone, I think the 11 Pro is the perfect size. I don't like the 11's form factor. I like the 11's, the concept of the 11, and that has a lower resolution display as well as great battery life, but it's a brick, and it's running the latest... Uh, iOS version and has the latest processor, so it's really snappy, great battery life, but it's a brick. I think everyone can agree on that. iPhone 11 is not a good design. It has dual cameras, which is awesome, because um, I know the wide-angle camera is very useful to most people. It is for me. My Galaxy S9 only has a single camera lens in the back, but to be honest, I could care less. Um, S9 shoots amazing photography, and this is all on the front-facing camera of the Galaxy S9, so if you guys actually enjoy how this looks... That's pretty crazy, because this is coming from a smartphone shooting at 1080p, I think 30 FPS on the front face camera. I know you can do like 4K on this thing, which is absolutely nuts. I don't know why I'd shoot in 4K, it's just like huge file sizes, and that's not worth my time, but the upload speed here is actually fantastic. Um, So yeah, right now, Apple's doing pretty well. I gotta give them props for that. Uh, they're coming out with good devices, and I think if the iPhone 9 comes out this year, they're gonna do even better. Uh, so I'm guessing they're going to come out with the iPhone 9 and then iPhone, I don't know if they're going to call it 11S, probably could be a 12. I don't know. Uh, they're getting, their, their numbers are kind of weird right now, but, uh, 
yeah, I like what they're doing with the processors. Hardware is getting better, even though I don't really like the hardware. Uh, if they stick with, like, maybe, like, make it more ergonomic, uh, similar to, like, the Galaxy series. Like, better hold in the hand. Make it less bricky, please, Apple. I will say that. Like, your some of your phones, like, the 11 is just such a brick, and it's not comfortable to hold in the hand. So take some notes from what Android's doing. Because uh, I believe that Android hardware has gotten so great over the past couple of years, especially Samsung. Samsung hardware, hands down, best hardware on a smartphone. You cannot deny that. I mean, I guess you could like look at the Chinese market and um, like Huawei has some really nice phones and that kind of stuff. But um, guys, I just love talking about phones. And if you guys want to hear more discussion on smartphones these days, go check out the Life Me Easy podcast because I'm doing with that. I'm doing that with my friend Tim, and I love hearing all your thoughts on smartphones. Um, when I created this channel, I originally wanted to do uh, like tons of videos on smartphones because it's such a huge passion of mine, and I love just talking about all things smartphones. And I also love looking at previous smartphones that have come out, especially like older iPhones. Those videos get tons of views, and the reason for that is because you can get older iPhones so cheap third third party sell from third party sellers, like the iPhone Seven Six S, Six SE. All can get those um, well under two hundred dollars. Seven is around one hundred and fifty, a little more. Six S you can get slightly over a hundred dollars, maybe even under a hundred dollars if you're good and if you look properly. Mercari, eBay, get a, get a good uh, auction or whatnot. Um, SE always below a hundred dollars, and six always below a hundred dollars. So, and the pre uh, reason people make videos on those is because they're so valuable these days, uh, because. Like the processors for uh, iPhones are lasting so long now and they just keep getting better every single year. And so like those processors aren't really slowing down. Like on the 6S is the threshold. Um, 7's even better. Like they're not slowing down. Battery life is like, eh, I guess. But they're just, and they're so cheap and they run the latest version of iOS. So that's why people love making videos on those and I'm actually considering getting an iPhone 7 just like as a backup phone and maybe like doing a little test run. I also have a new video coming shortly on uh, the new mobile X6 so stay tuned for that. Uh, com new mobile awesome company is sending me out uh, their latest budget Android phone $100 and it has like a giant specs sheet um, and it's pretty impressive uh, what it offered for $99 US which is nuts. So guys that's going to be it for the video. Hope you enjoyed. I want to hear every single person's comment on the current state of iPhones in the comment section down below. Guys, if you enjoyed this, make sure to smash that like button, share it with your friends, share it with your family, I don't know, um, and go check out my recent videos. I'll put a card in the top right, right there. And uh, yeah, Like Me Easy podcast, go check it out, go support it. Thank you so much. See you in the next video from Like Me Easy. Peace.